Like, share and subscribe for more great Cobra Kai content. Remember to turn on notifications to never miss another Cobra Kai video ever again. And now let's begin. Cobra Kai creators recently confirmed that Cobra Kai will indeed feature Okinawa in Season 3, with photography in Okinawa finally wrapping up as of June 2020. If you recall from Cobra Kai Season 2, Daniel now owns all of Mr. Miyagi's former estate. All the cars, the house, dojo, and presumably everything else were left to Daniel. This leak comes from YouTube creator Bonsai Kai Dojo. In The Karate Kid 2, Mr. Miyagi receives the deed to the village in the film, making him the owner of Tomi Village. With Daniel now having ownership of Mr. Miyagi's estate, it is becoming increasingly clear that ownership of Tomi Village likely passed to Daniel as well. The effect that this would have on season 3 as well as the series is unknown at this time. Now what may throw a wrench in this theory, is that shortly after that Miyagi said, Miyagi already win. No matter what happened, title and deed go to village forever. This does not mean however that Miyagi returned the deed to the village, instead, Miyagi likely meant that he would never sell the village and would instead be an overseer of it. With Miyagi having passed on in 2005, that responsibility has likely now passed on to Daniel LaRusso, and possible heir Samantha LaRusso. The main three alternative possibilities as pointed out by a fan are the following. 1. Yuki has the deed because she still lives in the village. 2. Daniel has it because of the above mentioned he was like a son to Miyagi. Or. 3. Daniel left the deed to Kuminos. So what do you think? Do you think Daniel is the current owner of Tomi Village? What effect do you think Daniel owning the village could have on season 3 and future seasons for that matter? Let us know what you think in the comments. Turn on notifications to never miss another video again. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.